yellow. How you guys doing? Whatever day I post this on, which I don't know, because like I said, I'm pretty inconsistent. That tilt over there just does not work. And let's, there we go. For some reason, the person was stalling, even though they knew they lost, so I don't know why people do that. That just makes the matches longer for no reason. It's kind of dumb. And stop doing that. Okay, let's go. We're going back to one. Because. Also, our theme is all voice. Again, like I say, very underrated. Well, at least in Japanese. In English, it's bad. But in Japanese, mm, it's so much better. Her all voice is so much better in Japanese than it is in English. Because in English, it's just repeated from three to three one. And it's kind of lazy. But here, it's a brand new spanking one. Which thankfully my favorite character, Ringo, as uh, you all know. Didn't get a repeated all voice, which I'm very glad they they gave her a new all voice, especially as a good one as we have. Anyway, I'm just destroying the competition. You guys need help. That's the power of harassment, guys. They help you. They put your opponent at a really bad position and really to help you get the upper hand in these matches. Instead of just like praying that your chain is fast enough. That's why people like me who constantly do stuff like this. But you still gotta be careful. Because they could still get the chain out like this. Helmet. I had a really good dig, but it wasn't enough. They, you managed to block most of it though, which is impressive, but it's not enough. I need to, to somehow get my footing. By getting purples. How to which I didn't post the game. I don't know. I don't know why the game didn't. Yeah. The game, the game is just really bad. Sometimes. I practice uh, the I'm pra I practice just playing Tetris against them while they were playing Puyo. Since since I wanted to play more with them. And I actually won. Maybe if this video gets enough likes, maybe I'll show off the thing. I don't really know if I actually do want to or not. I'm kind of disappointed that wasn't that kind of cut, but 
Sometimes you gotta do that sometimes. You sometimes have to cut your chain to surprise your opponent. Because I think their chain is larger than mine. But just if there's like some instances where like some your opponent just has a much bigger chain than you have and there's basically nothing you can do. That's like most complaints like most play Puyo players have. And that's why they usually play Tetris nowadays because it's apparently so much easier now because I don't have to get a chain. I just have to keep spin. Oh my. Well. That's why I love watching Puyo fans. It's just, it's just nice to see people with the big brains doing some really good tricks under their Puyo sleeves. Yeah. You shouldn't really give up. Just because you kind of are bad at Puyo doesn't mean you can always be bad. You just gotta train. And even... Yeah. Even though it seems like it's impossible, but it's really not. You just need to try a bit harder. <laughs> Even though it seems like most of the, most of the previous players, including me, are like on a different level, just try and tra train some more with like Puyo and you soon get it. Like once you get it, sort of like I did, then you really start to just get it, you know? I guess this is kind of an inspirational video. Or you can always I know you guys can do it. You guys just need to believe in yourself. Even though your chain might not be good, like mine was, like they have a better chain, never give up. I think we this guy is not giving up because they're not topping out. Most Tetris players usually like to top out against me in my matches, which I usually put a Puyo only sign sometimes. Uh, because most Tetris players are kind of lame in that regard because you know, because they don't really have to do like that. That's why just playing Puyo is just more tempting, and honestly it's just more fun because it feels like there's more action going around, and just there's more going on in the match, and there's more strategies than just peace, peace, peace things. I'm not saying peace things are bad, or just like them, but I just feel like Puyo has just like more a chain power you can definitely like try to do. Which is seen off. Yeah, that power eight I think can be annoying. That's also power. I know I didn't really talk about most of the match, but what really is it that does it? It was kind of an easy match to be honest. And yeah. And based off their league stats, I think, yeah, they aren't doing that well. But thankfully, this this player understood that, you know, sometimes you do lose, and sometimes you just have to deal with that reality. But one day you might get on the same leg as I am, and you'll become a Puya master. <laughs> Don't worry. Alright, bye-bye. Hopefully that inspired you all, I guess. Okay, so I'm gonna stop.